hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we'll be talking about the importance of saving money or why should we save money so persons have different reasons why they save we save so we can have a better quality of life we save so we can have a safety net for unforeseen events that we call emergencies or we save because we want to have a secured financial future right yes when 2020 started, I was on the final leg of my Christmas slash New Year's vacation and was already planning my next destination, which would have been March, April of the same year. Now, because I had a bucket list, I already knew exactly where my next destination would be. So when I got back home in January, of course, I was busy online, going through hotels, trying to figure out which one I'm going to stay at and making plans to purchase my airline ticket by the end of the same, same month. Now, usually when I'm traveling, I buy my tickets in January, end of January for March and the beginning of September for Christmas. These are the times when I get to relax, unwind, breathe, and enjoy life not that i don't enjoy life i do enjoy life every day but when you're on vacation i don't need to think about cooking washing dishes cleaning house paying bills getting up early going to bed early none of that instead i get to live the life that i dream of even if it's temporary so girl well i plan out vacation you know because as far as me concern outer road i keep and not now gonna change that well as you and I know, the unexpected happened. And of course, I had to make the decision not to go on a vacation at that time. Well, I was a bit disappointed, yes, but I consoled myself for the fact that I got to save that money that I would have used to travel. And also because of the unexpected event, I had to think about my own well-being. Some people think that it's more important to just live life in the moment and just enjoy it to the fullest. Meaning, whatever it is that they need, they purchase it, whatever it is, without saving. Now, I don't think that's smart because life as we know it is unpredictable and anything can change in a second. And we have seen that because it has happened and it's still going on. And with these changes, come loss of job sometimes, comes um, loss of home. Some persons are not able to continue paying their mortgage or their rent because of course they're not working. So we can't live life in the moment without thinking of the future. So because we do not know what lies ahead of us, we can't predict the future, then it is important to have a safety net to mitigate against any uncertainty that life will bring to us. Now, here are some reasons why I say saving money is important. The first one is emergency. Now, sometimes an emergency is a situation that needs an immediate financial response. Whether it is that you just had a fire or a major earthquake caused by natural disaster, or you lost your job, you have a car repair or a medical emergency. Now, having enough money in reserve to take care of these unforeseen events will save you a lot of stress and worry. Not that you won't worry even if you have the money. You will worry, but it will lessen the stress and anxiety that comes with it because you know exactly where the money is coming from. But consider not having this money for a medical emergency and you're there thinking, Am I going to be able to pay for this? Can I borrow money from up the bank? Will my job give me a part of my salary beforehand? All of this is stressful. And so it is important to have money put aside for these events. For me, last year, in the middle of this excitement, that's what I'll call it, I had two medical emergencies. I don't know what happened to my body. It's as if my body was just throwing a temper tantrum like a child. It decided that this season, it not going to work. And so it went on with a lot of things. Of course, I won because I'm here. But in my first admission, I spent a few days and my bill 
was a lot of money just for a few days. But the good thing is I didn't lose any time from work because it was during the holiday period, but I still had to pay that medical bill. Not long after I was back in the hospital and this time I spent two weeks. Of course, I lost all my um, sick leave. I used up all of that and was in the hospital for extra days. So I got not the same salary I would have gotten normally. And also the hospital bill was very high. But thankfully, I had money for that. And so I didn't have to worry about how my bill was going to be paid and how I'm going to manage with um, paying my bills because my salary was not the same as it would have been had I not been in the hospital. So this is why I say it's very important for us to have money for those times when things happen without us planning it. And it's not a matter of if these things will happen, they are going to happen. And so it is important to not just live in the moment and use up all your money without thinking about the future. Now, if you never saved money before, this season that we are in is a time that you should use to save as much as you can because you see what it is like to not have a job now. Some persons don't have a job. Some persons, even though they have a job, they're getting less money because they're not going in office as often as they would have had the time been as it was in the past as well as some persons are not able to, to take care of their mortgage or rent. So if you never thought about saving money, now is a time for you to do it and it's not too late. The second reason why saving money is important is for retirement. Now, some of us at some point in time, we plan to stop working unless you plan to work forever. Oh, you didn't know? Yes, we're not going to be young forever. We have to stop working at some time. So some persons plan to do that. Others plan to just get some things done that they weren't able to do while they were working because they were so busy. Maybe they had that cruise that they planned to go on. They just didn't get around to do it. They wanted to write a book, maybe wanted to learn to play the piano. So now that they retire is when they want to relax and enjoy the fruit of their labor and have some form of financial security. So it's really important to put aside money for that. Can you imagine after your work and God knows some of we work hard. Some of us work so hard, we work two, three, four jobs in the rain, in the snow, sometimes without a car, we're taking public transportation. And then when you get older and want and have to retire, you just sit there and you have nothing? No, it's really important to save for that period. You don't want to become a problem to government or your family. You want to be financially secured by the time you have retired. Now, the third reason why saving money is important is for financial freedom. Now, for me, having a substantial amount of money set aside, whether as investments, as general savings in the bank, or even ha as cash in hand, that will enable me to live the life that I've always wanted to live without worrying if I can afford the things I truly desire, be it traveling around the world or even just being able to take care of my expenses as they come. Just imagine being able to spend money when you want, how you want, on what you want. That's something that most of us would love to do. I don't want to be the person that sits around and I see somebody like, oh, what a way Maxine, I drive a nice car. Boy, I would have loved a car like that. You could have owned a car like that or better. Wow, what a nice house, see? Jeez, I'm a when I going to be able to afford that. You could have. You, the thing is, you did not take that into consideration. And so that is why it is important to save money while we can, because as life go along, there are times, the time is going to come when we are not going to be working anymore. And so now that we're 
at the time of our lives when we're earning, whether it is from passive income or just our jobs, now is the time to save. Remember when we were in university, some of us, between the given assignments and studying for exams, we felt like giving up. Our three and four years felt like 10 years. But here we are, finished our bachelor's, some have master's and some even PhD because we stayed the course. So it is with our finances. Sometimes we feel like it's going nowhere. We're saving, saving, and we can't see it because it takes time. But because we know the importance of saving, we stick to it. And so when emergency situation comes up, we have nothing to worry about because we have created that safety net. So we've looked at some reasons why savings is important. So let me encourage you to create a safety net for emergency situations. Remember, put that money where it is not easily accessible because it's only for emergencies. The next thing is to prioritize your savings. You want to ensure that you live a comfortable life when you retire, you deserve it. And also remember the journey to financial freedom, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon and it's an attainable goal, but it takes planning, budgeting, self-discipline and perseverance. You can do it one step at a time. Thanks for watching, guys.